Hello, my name is Miguel Angel de Lara Flores and I am from Mexico but I live in Ireland. I'm a graphic designer and an illustrator and I am also a minister for the Center for Sacred Studies and also part of the communications teams of the Center for Sacred Studies working uh, creating content and gra doing graphic design. Yeah, so my experience with, with doing the ministry training program um, was amazing. I, 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 I began studying it on 2020 and we got ordained on 2022, so just last summer. And I think we were a very particular class because we were taking the program while um, COVID was happening and all the lockdowns were happening as well. And that experience in itself, I think it was very different to maybe what other ministers have um, encountered. And for me, like that was just an amazing gift in a way, because it gave me a focus to have to sort of navigate everything that was going on at that time. And um, and yeah, to, to, to be able to, to have a community, to be able to study deeper into spirituality in, in a really serious committed way while there was so much uncertainty around us like for me that felt like an amazing sort of compass to have and sort of surfing board for everything that was going on i think it's very interesting because many people arrive to css in different ways um, my own personal way of of getting in touch with the organization was through meeting one of the elders, Jyoti. Um, I, I saw her working in different festivals that I was working as well. And the way she handled herself and carried herself was very interesting to me because she had both this amazing sweetness to her, uh, a tall granny, but at the same time she had this incredible strength in a very sort of practical activist sort of way. Um, in which she was defending and promoting the, the the voice of the indigenous of the regional people, and and the voice of Mother Earth um, in a really incredible way. So when I knew that she had a school, um, I was instantly very curious to find to find more about it and 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 to see where that led me. I think the people that come to CSS. There's so many different walks of life that come to, to the ministry program and to a Center for Sacred Studies. And I think that's really rich in many, many ways. Um, you know, there's, there's people that are, there's a lot of therapists, um, there's a lot of healers, um, there's a lot of artists as well. But, but it can be anything, you know, there's people that have a background in law and there's people that have a background in accounting. And, and I found that really amazing because I think once people from all walks of life are able to, to study deeply in the spiritual part of life, we can all put our individual gifts and talents to the service of something greater, you know. And in this case, really, a service to Mother Earth is what I feel is needed from everybody, you know. So for me, that's a really powerful part that CSS has, just how diverse it is and how open it is to everyone. You know, everybody's needed really in, in these moments of time with their particular gifts and with their particular passions and interests. For me, the program was really interesting because I think for a long time I've been kind of dipping my toes into sort of more spiritual groups or, you know, people that were exploring those concepts and stuff. But I think up until I was able to actually take the program, I, I think I didn't really never went fully serious in a deep study of what that meant and, and what that meant to people around the world and, and people that have been holding lines of prayer and um, throughout time and throughout generations. I think up until that before I was just sort of like, you know, curious about things. But um, for me, the program really gave me that, you know, gave me that um, study, like serious study and profound study of committed study of 
of seeing what this means, you know, what this means for other people in the world, what it has meant uh, for many traditions. And, um, and I think that the program is such an amazing resource to do that study, to, to go deeper into those subjects that are part of our experience as humans. You know, we, we, we have our bodies, we have our hearts, we have our minds, and, and there's also a, a spiritual element to us. And, and I think the Western society doesn't, hasn't been able to, to explore that very easily. You know, in time, now things are changing and, and more and more people are interested in developing themselves in, in spiritual ways as well. And, and I think this course can definitely be an incredible resource for people to explore those subjects and, 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 and to see how they can be more applied into practical ways in their, in their lives. I really think this story can fit everybody. You know, I, I, I think, the, again, that there's such an important richness in the study of spirituality in your own personal way, in the way that it makes sense to you. Like, for example, I, I was raised a Catholic and in my experience, I, I never really felt a connection with with God through it, you know. And now after, you know, taking the course, like I definitely felt I got the tools to create my own personal connection to to the divine, you know, to what that means to me. Um, and that looks very different for everybody. Uh, and I think this program allows that, you know, your own personal exploration of of what is the sac what does the sacred means to you. Um, and I think that's really powerful because it's not like a mold that is supposed to fit everybody. It's actually allowing for everybody to find their own expression of that. And, and, and I think that's a really important and beautiful part of what the ministry program has to offer. Yeah, I, I remember the first time I heard um, this concept of alchemical process, that the program was an alchemical process, and I wasn't really sure what that meant. Um, and now after taking it, after having completed it, I, I see a little bit of what that means. And and I think this part, you know, it, it's, it's a mystery school, a, a big part of what you're going through um, has its nature in in something that is not tangible, you know, that you cannot fully control. Um, you you cannot receive it by showing up in a way, and that may look very different for each person. Uh, there's there's no specific way to 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 go through that, but um, there's a beauty to it because you start to see that there's other ways of living as well. You know, you can be also paying attention to things like your intuition. You can be paying attention to signs that you see in. In nature, the, the song of a bird, the, the, the um, moving of the wind, like all these things are also part of our reality. And, and I think in the Western mind, we don't really pay attention to, to those things that much. So this course and its alchemical process has definitely helped me to be more open to those ways of communicating with my surroundings, with, with the people around me, with, with other creatures. and, and in that way feel more part of that that totality you know um, and that has been really beautiful and, and that has definitely um, came come from taking the course for doing the program so yeah the, the models you know are very very interesting and um, there's definitely some that called certain individuals more than others i remember for myself like the model on death and dying really st struck me because I think I never really had taken the time to study and to wonder what happens when, when we die. Like even from something very basic at a physical level, what happens with our bodies when we die. Um, and then just to understand this very important part of our process as human beings that everybody's going to go through and that I don't know if a lot of people have really thought about. So. For example, that was an amazing, an amazing model, and to, to really study, you know, to, to, to really go into. Um, I wanna, another one of my favorites was uh, mystical faiths, and that kind of looked at different ways of understanding spirituality and God in different times and different places in the world. 
and that also felt amazing because I, I can see how there's an interest, the humanity has had an interest on, on these subjects for such a long time um, and they have had different ways of, of observing this, uh, this part of nature and, and life as well. So that was very rich and I learned so much from that too. And yeah, like, uh, I think the another really beautiful part that called me specifically to this program was the sort of psychology part of it, you know, like some of the teachers um, have walked that path too as well. They, I think that for me, that was a really rich part of, of the teachers, of the instructors, of the elders, that they were, have been able to walk both a really academic a way of studying things and also a really intuitive spiritual way of experiencing life as well and mixing those two together um, for me they have they have um, a grounding that for me was interesting you know to, to be able to study things both in a spiritual way in a very practical rational way I think when you combine both um, it, it tends to be stronger and, and, and for certain individuals, individuals it makes more sense so the program has that, you know. If you are thinking on doing this course, um, just keep exploring it. You know, I, I, I can tell you in my experience, it wasn't really a rational decision. It was more a feeling inside of my body, a curiosity to, to find out more, to learn more about this these elders and these teachers um, and I don't regret it at all you know it really it really changed my life in many ways and it's influencing the way I do my work now um, and yeah it's it's just such a beautiful process it's intense as well you know it, it will trigger you it will bring things up to the surface that need to be looked at probably and and but but having the strength and, and, and the beauty of a community that has been walking this prayer in this particular way for such a long time is the perfect place to explore those those subjects and, and those concepts that need to come up, you know. So, yeah, just keep exploring, you know, go to the Q&As, um, speak to other uh, ministers, speak to instructors, the community is very open to, to speak about things and, and our experiences. So reach out, but don't. If you have a if you have a curiosity, don't stop there. Keep following that curiosity because it might lead you to to the next place that your spirit is looking for or or wants to to reach to.